Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. This is going to be the August 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. As always my readings are very intuitive so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages they receive as well as many of the tarot cards. I do however recommend you check out your sun, moon and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Scorpio, though, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at what's coming for August. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. But again, Scorpio, starting column number one, what's wrapping up and coming to a close. We have the card, I am a warrior. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this card, Scorpio. Let me tell you why. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but here's my take on it. So I think it's wonderful that things come up that we're passionate about enough to fight for. We care enough to fight for it. So that part is great. But generally speaking, I just wish things in life were easier, um, and oftentimes that's not the case. So that's the downfall of the card. It's great that we fought for it, but in general, I would just wish uh, for easier routes for many people. So again, not a bad thing. I think there's something you pushed through, persevered, got something done here, Scorpio. But likely it was a little bit more challenging than you would have thought it was going to be. So keep pushing through there. Um, again, you're going to persevere. Taking a look at our cards, though, first up we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a card of being very tolerant, being very empathetic. Um, and this fits so nicely with what we were just talking about. You kind of had to roll with the punches. You had to roll with what came your way. Um, so again, it's very uh, tolerant, very persistent. The next card that we have is this Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a card... Um, this can be self-imposed restrictions. This could be holding yourself back. I don't know that that's necessarily the issue. More so what I'm hearing from this Scorpio is like isolation. So I don't know that you had a lot of support here. I feel like you had to take this action on your own as things got hard. I don't know that you had a lot of help this month, at least in this exact situation. At the bottom here, we have the King of Wands. This is the big, bold, powerful moves. This is to have the courage to keep pushing forward. These are the power moves that we all love so much. So again, persevering, overcoming, staying tolerant, um, pushing through even when we didn't have a lot of help to get those, mo those big moves made. Looking at our clarifiers, first up we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is very persistent, very hardworking, sits nicely in the tolerance that we talked about earlier. One thing I love about the Knight of Pentacles is it's reaping the benefits of the hard work. So if you put in the hard work, you're going to get the benefits of it with the Knight of Pentacles. The next card that we have is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is like Prince or Princess Chiming. This is very romantic, very proposal-like. Um, I don't... Some of you could have been fighting for love here, but I feel like for more of you, this is like the opportunity, the proposal, the opportunity, the thing that you wanted that was worth fighting for. This is like the ideal, the perfect, so it makes sense why you would want to push forward towards it. At the bottom here, we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of being stressed, exhausted, a little overwhelmed. Some of you could be feeling a little tired coming off these last few weeks because, again, things were so challenging, Scorpio, so keep that in mind. Um, make sure you get some rest and recovery, some R&R &R in there, just because, again, you've put out a lot of effort these last few weeks. Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, which is just general what's coming for August. We have the Summary Affirmation card. I am crown of creation. I love this. This is your opportunity to manifest, to create, to bring things to fruition. Um, so be aware of that in these next few weeks here, uh, Scorpio. But um, again, whatever you want to create these next few weeks and months is going to be a really good time for it. Let's take a look and see what messages we've got here, though, for you. First up, we have the Chariot. The Chariot was once described to me as the Vroom Vroom card. It means there's action, there's change, we're on a journey. So be ready for some movement. Things shuffling around is what I'm hearing. Um, this is also a new vehicle card, so some of you could be getting a new car or vehicle in these next few weeks. 
The next card we have is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very confident, very self-assured. Um, more than anything, I'm hearing you need to be clear on what you want. So in order to create, in order to manifest, in order to accomplish the things we want, we have to be very clear on what we want. So this is about being clear on the things that we want. It's interesting because with the chariot, we don't know always the exact steps. We don't know how we're getting there. But this is saying as long as you know exactly what it is you want, the chariot will, will navigate that path for you. At the bottom here, we have the five of cups. There does seem to be something that's bothering you, something that has you feeling low. I don't necessarily know that these are connected. This could be grieving too, so you could be losing somebody. I'm sorry for those that do. There is something low feelings coming in. We'll see if we can clarify that a little bit more. Again, it doesn't necessarily feel directly connected to the other two things we were discussing. Looking at our clarifiers, first up we have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, you may need to do some multitasking during this. So there's the thing that you want and then there's the things that you have to do. And we have to find time for all of them um, in these next few weeks here, Scorpio. So do be aware of that. This is weighing your options, prioritizing, kind of juggling things there with the Two of Pentacles. The next card that we have is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a celebration card, so I do think that we can have some pretty significant successes, victories, wins coming in these next few weeks or month, which is wonderful to see. Um, but this is also a card of like um, spending time with friends, so I could see you going out and uh, celebrating like a birthday or a baby shower or something along those lines. At the bottom here we have the Emperor. The Emperor is very strategic, very long term. Um, it's very much so a card of planning. Perhaps that's what we're feeling low about. So I mentioned earlier we need to be really clear on what we want. We might not be so clear on the plan. I think some of you could be bothered that there is some lack of clarity on the plan here. Uh, but again, if you can get very clear on what it is you want you can definitely trust that the chariot will take you where you need to go there scorpio so keep that in mind okay moving on now to our next column we're going to talk about anything related to money starting out with a quick money message money is always moving in alignment with your thoughts always focus your attention where you want your money to be rather than where you are currently so in this column we're going to talk about anything related to money job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money here, Scorpio. So first up we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is very much so a love card typically. It's also a card of partnership, proposal, marriage. I think there's a relationship um, at work that's really going to come about this month that's going to be really important. I don't think it's love interest necessarily, but like you have a new best friend coworker or a really wonderful relationship with a mentor or maybe a new financial guidance counselor or something along those lines, but a nice really positive money relationship coming coming through there. The next card that we have is the devil card. In short, the devil card is a card of overdoing. Um, this is like greed, envy, materialism, obsession. So again, it's overdoing something. When I see the double card, especially in the money column, this is a big time budget card. So uh, be thinking about your spending, be thinking about your budgeting, be thinking about your savings and act accordingly. Again, this is overdoing. So try not to splurge, try not to blow the budget, try not to blow the savings. Um, so just be cautious. Again, budget is the word hanging out there. At the bottom we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card. Um, this is like nightmare, anxiety, grief, worry. There is something we're worried about here. Maybe there's a big expense that's coming through. Uh, let's clarify this though a little bit and see what other information I can give you. The first clarifier we have is the World card. The World card is the last card in the Major Arcana completing a goal or completing a lesson it's like the world has come full circle um, there could be some travel involved as well so potentially some work travel for you Scorpio but in taught in um, what I'm hearing here is this relationship is guiding you through a lesson this relationship is helping you get something done but more importantly there is like a bigger lesson or goal or uh, motive behind it if that makes sense the next card we have is the King of Wands. The King of Wands, again, this is the big bull that moves. These are the power moves that everybody talks about. Um, 
it's interesting. So I do actually think you're going to, and maybe I don't want to call this a splurge spend, but I do think you're going to go all out. I think you're going to make this big financial move here. I see you worried about it, but I think it looks okay. Um, when the King of Wands comes up, it's the courage to make the power move. So even though I think a lot of money could be going out this month, Scorpio, I do think you're going to make the power move. Um, at the bottom here, we have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands, it's that new thing. It's taking action. It's going after a new project or a new idea. Um, doesn't mean you're not going to be stressed about it, probably because, again, it is a significant spend. But I think you are actually going to blow the budget uh, and make the power move in terms of money. So just be aware of that. Again, with the King of Wands, though, it's pretty promising. That's usually the make the bold move card. And then we have our Page of Wands, which is also a call, a call to action. Taking a look now at our next column, we're going to talk about anything related to love. Quick love message here. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love. So first up, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a very supportive, nurturing card here. Uh, for those of you in a relationship, I feel like uh, you're kind of entering into this new chapter, this new place of support, this new place of love. This could in general just be a new relationship as well. But again, this is like very nurturing. I feel like you're getting a big warm hug, which I like with the Queen of Cups. The next card that we have is the Fool card. The Fool card is the first card in the Major Arcana. This is fresh hope, taking chances, new paths, adventures, beginnings. Uh, again, this is the new relationship, or this is like the new chapter in the relationship. The nice, big, warm hug coming in, Scorpio. At the bottom, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a card of desire for long-term security. This is the desire. This is something we don't quite yet have. Um, but I think it's the relationship or the relationship in the next step that's the desire you have. And there's this sort of very nurturing and supportive switch coming. So I think for a lot of you, that is the desire, that nurturing, that support, that big warm hug. Let's take a look at our clarifiers, though. First up, we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of speed, action, quick change. Things are moving fast here. Um, again, this relationship could be uh, advancing quickly, or this new relationship really could have came about rather quickly, but things are coming quickly. The Eight of Wands is also like finding out news, so it could be some sort of information that provides that big, warm hug, comfort feeling. I'm taking a look at our next card, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a card of trusting your gut, trusting your intuition. In this case, it's trusting this desire. This desire is what's pushing everything forward. At the bottom here, we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a card of self-imposed restrictions. I feel like, unfortunately, almost, I'm going to say 95% of us have had some sort of terrible relationship along the way. And those things can kind of come back and limit us in the future. It takes away our trust. It takes away our feeling of worthiness. It makes us feel small. So um, I feel like this relationship, again, is quite supportive, quite healing. But it's like you need to make sure that you're not holding yourself back from this, too. I feel like this other person is there. They're open to it. They're ready. They're providing that love, that nurture, that support. So um you kind of have to let yourself go forward versus holding yourself back in this situation. So just food for thought and something to keep an eye on there, Scorpio. Now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. Ooh, I haven't seen this card in a long time. I am authentic. If you look at this uh, heart in the top corner of the card here, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting right now. I apologize. Um, but being authentic, this is about what feels good at your core. Follow your heart this month, Scorpio. Um, let that be the guider. But let's see what messages I've got for you. Again, this is any messages from our future self or spirit guides. 
Up first, we have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is needing to rest, retreat, renew, recover. We talked about that. Now it's in both corners here for you. Make sure you get a little bit of downtime, quiet time. Again, you had to fight for things a lot these last few weeks. It seems like we're juggling some stuff, so we're still going to be busy. So uh, get that rest and recovery in there. The next card that we have is the balance, or excuse me, is the temperance card, which is a card of balance and harmony. Uh, it's a card of moderation. Again, it can't be all go, go, go. There needs to be some go time, some relaxed time. But this is nice entering into a period of relaxation, which is great to see, because again, you definitely need that rest and recovery. At the bottom here, we have the Hermit. The Hermit card is the authentic card. When I see the Hermit card, this is about going within for clarity. This is about living your life's path, finding spiritual illumination. It's what feels good at the core. Um, so please, please, please let your heart guide you this month. Uh, it's not what feels good to the gut. It's what feels good to the heart here. Uh, and that will be very clear. Taking a look at our clarifiers, first up we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of patience, delayed success, waiting. You can't keep putting off this rest and recovery. Carve out some time for yourself, Scorpio. The next card that we have is the Hangman. The Hangman is a card of being kind of stagnant. I feel like we've been stuck in this loop of craziness. It's been hard to carve out time for ourselves. Um, this is a card of self-sacrifice. Again, you've just given it your all. You've put a lot out there. So um, I'm glad to see that balance and harmony coming in instead of that just putting it all out all the time. At the bottom here, we have the Queen of Swords. This is very self-sufficient. This is very honest. This is about being honest to you, aka also known as authentic. So be putting you first, Scorpio. Okay, now at this time I'm going to give the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one, we have the three of diamonds. This is number 48 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two, we have the three of hearts. This is number one card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three, we have the four of clubs. This is number four card. That's a yes. Ooh, yes is across the board there, Scorpio. We're also going to pull a card from our Healing Stones deck. This is a crystal to keep with you through the month of August. You have Amber this month, which is great for creativity, warmth. Gives you a nice childlike candor, happiness, and joy to live. We're also going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Your Healing Note says, you are, feel, fill, you are filled with healing love. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box. But thank you so much, Scorpio, and I hope you have a wonderful August.